y'all are spitting in each other's mouths it's never that serious, I'm sorry. Girl, that was the most Delulu statement you've ever said. Proving your point, we get it, it's okay. Bring these men back. It's me, I think. This is not Love Island, this is Trauma Island. Hello, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I don't even wanna say welcome back because it's actually been like, I actually don't know how long it's been since I posted a video last. So we're just gonna say welcome, we're gonna pretend that we've never seen each other before. This is new, never been here, new to YouTube. Let's just start over. Anyways, this is not what this video is about. We're gonna get into some business because Love Island, Love Island USA specifically, I should be specific. I actually am going through it right now. Honestly, this video is more for me than it is for y'all because I need to rant. Like, I know people around me are tired of hearing me rant. So I'm just going to rant to the internet because what am I watching right now? What is this show? It actually does not feel like Love Island. I don't actually, under, like, I haven't actually watched the dynamics and previous seasons and all of that to really understand. And the way I'm actually going through it right now is a lot. So let's get into it. I feel like I should start off talking about how I feel about the couples. Oh, this is going to be a spoiler, by the way. If you haven't watched the, if you're not caught up, that's not on me. That's on you. I'm going to talk freely. I'm going to talk about what I'm seeing. I'm obviously not going to start from episode one. I don't even know what episode I'm on right now. But I feel like I should talk about the couples first, how I'm feeling, and we'll go from there. And I use the word couples loosely because... No one's acting like they're in a couple right now. And by no one, I mean the boys. Let me let me start off with the people who are kind of tame right now. Um, Kendall and Nicole. And Nicole, right? I honestly, I think I like them. They seem to be stable. They seem to be okay. The only thing I don't like about Kendall is he's an instigator. He's messy. Because the way these boys are acting up, why are you supporting that? I don't like that. I actually don't like that. Nicole seems like a nice girl. I'm glad she chose Kendall over Miguel because honestly, Miguel is not serious. Let, let's be for real. Who else is there? Leah and Miguel. Honestly, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I don't, I, I don't really see it. The parent doesn't make sense. I feel like it's very random. First of all, Miguel, let's be for real. He's a player. He gets around. I feel like he just chose Leah because... He tried it with Liv. He tried it with, who did he try it before Liv? Oh, he tried it with Nicole. Didn't work out either. So it's like, there's only so many girls you can go for to keep yourself safe. I feel like that's what it is. Yeah, they have cute banter, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't see it. Who else is in the show? I'm actually so bad with names. Oh, Janae and I don't know what his name is, but he kind of looks creepy to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> he looks a little scary. <laughs> Those two, Janae, and I'll, I'll put his name on the screen. Uh, I love, I love Janae. So I, I'm, I'm really trying to root for her because she's had it so hard. First, Colin, ew, bleh. He was so, can we just talk about, oh, let's, I'm sorry. This is going to be all over the place, by the way, but I just, I like, I actually need to rant. Janae and Colin, Colin, the way he switched up on her was actually not serious. And not only did he switch up on her, like it's one thing if you're trying to get to know Leah, but is why are you making unnecessary rude comments? Emphasis on unnecessary. It's giving microaggressions, honestly. It's low-key giving microaggressions, but that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, Janae and the dude. They're okay. I see the chemistry. Honestly, I, whoever she's with, I, I'm gonna root for it because I just I, I love Janae. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it's really cute how they were in Casa though, and he was like, "Oh, like I really miss her warmth. Like I really, like no no other girl like really gives off that vibe. Like yes, that's so cute." And then Kendall's messy ass. He was like, "Oh, you have to get to know the Kendall. Shut up." Okay, again, instigating. Shut up. Who else is left? Okay, I feel like I've touched on the somewhat unproblematic ones. Now let's get into <laughs> Kaylor and what's his name? Aaron. Ciao. I'm not built for a show like Love Island because if it were me, I'd be exactly like how Kaylor is crying every single day this poor girl is going through it say they started off as a really strong couple 
but I knew at the back of my mind, he's not serious. He's actually not serious. Like, he's actually having the time of his life. And the editors are so messy because the way that they're showing her literally like crying, like sobbing, like, oh my gosh, girl. And he's here just chatting to this girl comfortably. He, Kayla is not in his mind. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. But honestly, I feel like the fact that he's putting her through all of this, but at the same time, the way this girl is so invested, I feel like she's going to take him back low-key. My thing with him too is you're telling her like, oh, like they're telling each other actually, you know, like I love, well, not I love you, but I'm, I'm falling for you. I feel like I'm going to fall in love with you soon. And then this girl, you literally, it's not even 24 hours. It's not even 24 hours and you're telling her you love her? What? Like, it's one thing if you're trying to connect with other people. Like, I understand this is Love Island. You're going to meet new people. But give it time. Like, you're actually, it's not even 20. That's what's getting me. It's not even 24 hours. It's not even 48 hours. And y'all are just hoping. And last but not least, Cordell and Serena. Listen. I honestly was ooh, 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 team Cordell in the beginning because I felt like Serena was giving him very much hot and cold vibes. Like, no, honestly, I want them to send a girl in for Cordell who seems to be all for him. But honestly, this is the last time I ever feel bad for men because the way he's acting, like I, again, like I previously said, I understand you want to explore different connections, blah, 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 blah. You're not tied down. Cool. But the way these men switched up so quickly is what's actually disrespectful. And the fact, why are you lying? You're saying, oh, I'm going to sleep outside. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to kiss anyone. Blah, 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 blah. And look at how you're acting with homegirl. Not even 24 hours later. That's what's getting me. It's the timeline. Y'all aren't even giving it time. You're not even getting to know these girls on a personal level. I really feel for Serena because like she said, like she's a slow burner. It takes her time to really open up. And the fact that she opened up to this man just for him to act like this like a day later is actually really sad and embarrassing. And I feel like low key, she's going to leave. Like when she sees this, how he's acting, how he's moving, She's going to dip and I wouldn't blame her. Anyways, that's how I feel about these couples. Let's actually get into this episode because <laughs> I'm stressed. And you can cast them more when the game of raunchy races, but with action like that, I'm sorry. Speaking of raunchy races or whatever, I feel like that was totally rigged so that the guys could get a little ego boost and feel like they're actually doing something. But anyways, that's that one was a winner. Oh, that one wasn't, didn't have the passion. That one was too forced. There goes Kendall instigating again. I have a theory as to why Kendall's instigating so much. I feel like he's trying to win the game, obviously. So he's trying to break up the small cup, like the, the strong, quote unquote, strong couples. So that's why he's doing too much with Cordell and Eric, because he wants them to break up. Kendall, I'm on to you. How strong of a connection he's built with. I am. I feel like me and Dana connect really well. What if y'all connected on though? I'm just trying to think, maybe they're just not showing us things. The conversations these two, Cordell and Dea, have had, they haven't even had conversation. It's literally just Dea thirsting over him. Oh, like, you deserve so much better. Like, you deserve someone who's all about you. Ba 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 ba. Y'all are not having actual genuine conversations, so I'm very confused as to what this connection is all about, but I digress. Wearing a ring she gave me. And that's the trifling part. Because you're doing all of this and you're wearing the ring that she gave you. Foul. Kendall needs to get out of my face for real. He actually needs to get. He actually needs to get. Look at Imagine what the hell the boys are over there doing. Like, girl, they're having the time of their life. That's what they're doing. It's a vacation. Really? Really? I like that Leah isn't delusional and she knows what Miguel's up to. Like, be for real. It's Miguel. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to talk about Rob and Liv. Rob, we already know the, the chaoticness that went down with him and Leah and whatever. He's just very dramatic. But why is he the single one and he's the most respectful? That's crazy. And then Liv, 
I just love Liv, honestly. I didn't know how I felt about her when she first came in, but she's definitely grown on me. She just, she doesn't take from anyone, and I, I really respect that. That's intimidating to me, I think. Because I'm so relaxed? Yeah. It's making you all these- Rob, you know damn well you're not common, Jill. The way you were crying in the pool, depressed, sad, you are not common, Jill. Let's be real. Yeah. Have a good time. You do have good style and taste, so I'll give you that. Okay, thank you. Rob and good style? Okay. But like, oh. <laughs> You're so thirsty. I feel like Cordell is really just latching on to any girl that's giving him attention, which at, in some degree I don't blame him because again Serena was very like standoffish with him. But I honestly don't think he really likes this girl like that. It's not making sense to me. Is this rude for me to say? But I don't care, I'm gonna say it. The guys versus the girls they sent in to Casa. I'm sorry, they did the girls so dirty. I don't know, the guys are just not really giving like, you know? Like I feel like if they sent Miguel and that black guy that Janae was with, I don't court, no, Croy? I don't remember, the one with no personality. If they sent them as bombshells or whatever for Casa, I feel like it actually would have like gave. I feel like these guys like, it's not really, I don't know. No. I know, and he's definitely thinking about you too. Had it all, but it's gone. I just said, I'm glad Leah isn't the Lulu girl. That was the most the Lulu statement you've ever said. What do you mean he's thinking about her? This, she has not crossed his mind once. He is not thinking about her. But you know what? She's being a good friend. She's trying to comfort her friends, so I get it. Like these poor girls are literally sleeping outside with the bugs, with the mosquitoes, uh, just to be respectful of the couples that they have. And this is what these men are doing to them. Like. Stand up, stand up. I actually can't like this, but at the same time, I can't even fault them because they don't know. They don't know. They like they they don't know what these men are doing. I'm skipping. Honestly, this is just too much. Go in. I already knew how I felt about Kendall, but I just truly, truly. My gosh, the girls are literally having a heart to heart about how much they miss their men. Like this. This is stressful. I actually need Casa to be over. It's enough. Y'all have proven your point. We get it. It's okay. Bring these men back. Please. I beg. This is too much. They're literally in a, in a, in a friendship circle. Everyone's going around. Yeah, I just miss that he does it. Yeah, me personally, I just miss when the... the Yo! Oh my gosh. Skipping, skipping. I love all these people fit catch up all in my mouth and i'm getting all of that at the end like do y'all know how crazy that is yo like <laughs> that was the this challenge is trifling hello bacteria diseases y'all are spitting in each other's mouths it's never that serious i'm sorry it's never that serious <laughs> Never the, keep the money. Keep the money. No. Skip, 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 skip. To be vulnerable, especially like expressing my feelings. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say what y'all talking about. <laughs> Are you good? You might have to keep with y'all. I interrupting. I am scooping. I am grabbing her hand to pull her. Can I, can I pull you for a chat? That's what they say, right? Can I pull you for a chat? Not him doing that. Uh, Ooh, I feel like those cartoon scenes where like they're both pulling and tugging like on the toy. Oh, because she actually deserves this. Like I'm glad that she's kind of getting pressure from two different guys because <sighs> poor girl's been through it. Fight. It's very bossy. Go ahead. Fight. Thank you. To the death. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. That's how you feel. <laughs> thing that's gonna happen. Tell me what's the worst. I guess we wouldn't be together. It's not the end of the world. 
You gotta learn to shut the window. And Wait, this is taking. <laughs> this is making sense. Let me go back. Let me rewind. I skipped too much there. This is actually such a good friend. Like, what is the worst that could happen? Y'all aren't together, okay? There's so many men out there. Like, it's not that serious. I'm saying this, but <laughs> if it were me. <laughs> I'd be exactly like Kayla, but but let me be a good friend. Like it's not that serious. Like there's so many wet men in the world. If you gotta move on, you you can move on. It's okay. Like becoming. That's why I like Liz. She's real. I like it. I do. Yeah. And I be in my head a lot. I be sometimes I be feeling like. Damn, okay, let me actually pay attention. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be? No, no, I don't care about these two. Skip, 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 skip. Oh my gosh, it's about to get real. I actually wait, hold on. This is a moment, y'all. Look at Kayla's face. Holy. I need to pause. I need to collect myself. Yes! They need to know, they need to know. Let's watch. Look at them running. Look at them running. I don't blame them because let's see it. Let's see the story. What is it? Open it. Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my days. I know I've been saying that I want to like them to like see these videos, but now that it's actually happening, I don't know how to feel right now. This is a lot. Okay. Just a little bit though. I mean, shit. You want me to give you my love glass? Why am I reacting as if I'm there watching it live with them? I mean, I basically am. Just, just put my head, put my head right there with them. You're lying. You're lying. They're showing everything. Oh my gosh! No, these editors are not serious. They're actually, they are, they are not holding back, but it's good. They need to see this. Who is that? Who do you think? Cordell. Oh, not Kayla crying. Oh my goodness. This is actually like, it's funny and it's drama and stuff, but like this is, look at Serena. Like this, this actually affects people. Like this is, this is not funny. This is not okay. Look how devastated these girls are. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's taking off the ring. Do y'all think the reason why Aaron was speaking in Spanish to her was because he had it in the back of his mind that if she, if Kayla did end up seeing these clips, she wouldn't understand? Too bad. There's a translator. They were actually foul for not showing her that they kissed. Because I feel like she needs to see all of it. Because now in her mind, it's going to make her go crazy even more. Like, did they kiss? Did they not? Blah, blah, blah. Show her everything. Look, these girls are in distress. This is not okay. Things like this actually traumatizes people. This is not okay. <laughs> this is not Love Island. This is Trauma Island. Oh, my days. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> You know a girl is about to lose it when she starts laughing. Serena is going to flip her. Serena is going to lose it. This girl is laughing. Not only is she laughing, she's pacing. She's saying... Around the villa, this girl is angry. Ooh, Cordell. She got something for that ass. You know, it's serious when even the host is like, yeah, um, the girl, like not even making jokes or anything. Like it's actually serious. Like this is not, this is not even funny anymore. Like this is, this is actually a really sad situation. We need your translation. I don't speak the language. language. Yeah, yeah. They're getting him. To, see, I told you. Translator. Oh, you can't be sneaky. Trust. Oh, you, oh, you thought we wouldn't know? We thought you wouldn't find out? Hi, Iggy. Come over. Come over here. Can you translate? Thank you. <laughs> Serena, I'm sorry. Serena. <laughs> Serena, thank you. That girl is going to lose it. The way she's laughing right now. Oh, baby, there's anger. 
there's because sometimes when you're so angry or upset and mad all you have to do is just laugh like all you can do is laugh but it's gonna come out no, this is good. i'm glad they're seeing how messy kendall is he's messy he's an instigator like why are you why are you happy about this that's actually a huge red flag I like ew. Why are you actually happy that he's doing this and disrespecting another woman? And it's oh yeah. I love how it's, no, because I love the trio of Serena, Janae, and Leah. They are about it. Not Janae saying, "Say the words, I'll pull up right now." Let's go. Some more right now, cause you don't give a fuck. Say the words. It's me. Fuck. Girl, I know their hearts are in their stomach right now. Like that is that's sick. What makes it worse for Kayla is like everyone and their mom was saying, No, Aaron wouldn't do that. Aaron's thinking about you. Aaron would be respectful. Aaron this, Aaron that. Just to see this, like, I not only is it like traumatizing just watching that my phone decided to cut off without saying not only is it traumatizing to watch that fold out but it's actually embarrassing like it has nothing to do with her obviously as a person it's all on him but that's just embarrassing to see like people being like oh yeah he would never do that just for him to do that Ciao. my phone is running out of storage i need to cut this short anyways I'm glad the girls got to see what they got to see. They need to know what's going on. It seems like next episode is going to be the recoupling. So that's definitely going to be juicy. I truly hope the girls stand on business though. And they're actually done with these men. Like don't do all of that just to go back to him. And I think the conclusion of this is don't trust men. Some of them. Like can we just, why do men? Men. Like, I do, anyways, sorry. Whatever. Why do men exist? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more. There definitely will be more to come because you already know I'm not done ranting. There's still, I don't even know how many more episodes of this. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.